Okay, folks, JC's Bees here. Uh, usually we talk about honeybees and beekeeping here on JC's Bees, but today I'm going to talk about something that all of us beekeepers like, and that's that's food. I built me a UDS. And for those of you that don't know what that means, that's a ugly drum smoker. Now this uh, still has a little bit of paint on it that I have to finish burning off tomorrow with a grill torch, but. Uh, after I get it done, I think I've pretty much got it ready for paint. So I wanted to go over a few of the things here. I'll start out here on the lid with my spring handle. That'll help keep the heat down when I'm cooking, keep me from burning myself. Probably still have to wear an oven mitt. Um, I took a piece of uh, exhaust pipe left over from my truck and I tacked it to the top of the drum lid. It was actually a bung here that I screwed out and put this on. I tacked it to it, put me a damper on, and then over here I added another damper. As you can see, that I've made it so that you don't have to take this off completely. That way if it happens to be raining, you ain't getting water down in on your food. Okay, now we'll remove the lid. As you can see, I've uh, welded a hanger to the back so that it can hang there. This is the grate I made. And what I did is I went to TSC. We sell this expanded metal. I bought this piece to make this. I think I had $30 in this piece. It was two foot by two foot. The steel going around is actually the band that held the lid down on the barrel. So I reused it. And then if you notice here on the bottom, I've got this piece of metal welded sticking off. And what that's for is to hang it. And you could hang it up here. But the problem I found there is if you want to put the lid on to get your uh, temperature adjusted, um, this is in the way. So I welded me a, hang, a holder down here on the side. As we get down in here a little further, we're going to pull out my coal basket. And my coal basket still needs one more piece, and we'll go over that in a second. But here I used uh, the expanded metal once again. Here I used the expanded metal once again, and these pieces were a foot by two foot long and I had to buy two pieces to do this and this piece in the bottom was actually a pan that I found it believe it or not odd lots I had a handle that went on the side here in these two holes over here and it was for grilling uh, vegetables and different things so I thought that would work perfect for the bottom of the coal basket since it's got to get lots of air up through the bottom welded me some bolts on to get it up off the bottom now that's where the parts missing and I see what they're doing is people's taking uh, like a big pizza pan and putting on the bottom you need something to catch your ashes so they ain't landed on the bottom of your barrel so I need an ashtray to go on the bottom of my legs that's the only piece I have to go here um, put me a handle on my basket set it back down in here okay and I also took the time to make me a hook. And this is in case I ever have to get the basket out while it's hot. And this also hangs on the side. Right there. Okay. On the inside of the barrel, approximately 14 inches from the top of my coal basket, I made me some little L brackets which I tacked to the inside of the the barrel and what those are those are the feet for the grate and see how those work work out real nice now, I've yet to cook anything on this yet because like I say I still have a little bit of paint to cook off and then on the outside I bought some uh, wood burner 
paint for wood burning stoves and I'm going to paint the outside of it. Okay, now let's go down here. These are the inlets for the air. And these need to be controllable. You need to have dampers on them. So I'm seeing a lot, what a lot of people have done is they came out here with an elbow and ran it up. Well, that's fine and dandy, but the problem I see there is when you're not using it, or even if you are using it, water is going to get in there. So I did a little bit of research and found and found this idea where somebody had taken a steel rod and just attached it to the valve, which I just welded it to the nut. And then you take and follow the steel rod up to the top, which is where he has extended the handle. And you can see I've put a little bracket here to help support it. So you can see how it works the valve. Okay, so that those all of these inlets are exactly two inches to the center. And there's three of them spaced pretty much equally around this barrel. Here's another one. And what you can see, I've taken and took the grinder to them to open them up. That way, nothing can get in there besides just air. If it's raining, you ain't got to worry about water pouring in there. And it's a little bit more adjustable that way. And I've got another one here. Now on the bottom, I just uh, welded on some pieces of metal in loop shape. And I've got three of those. And it just so happened to be that I had an old grill. It was a pretty nice old grill. It had cast iron burners, and but it was it seen better days. And at one time, it was a nice grill. Well, the grill just lifted right out of there, and it just so happens that my barrel fits right in there. So I think I'm gonna modify this little cart to hold my smoker and uh, get it painted up and sanded and get all I guess I should start with burning off all the paint get it painted and sanded and painted and uh, get some food on it and I'll do another update video well thanks for watching JC's bees